Okay, guys. So, guys, I want to address with you to you like another choke by using the color. But this choke now, the loop choke doesn't require like a, I have like a, a a very deep grip on his collar, on his collar. Actually, if I have a deeper grip, I won't be able to apply the loop choke. I need to like my grip a little bit loose. All right. So, and why we are working the the loop choke from the close guard is because it's way harder to him escape from a loop choke. Because one of the main defenses of the loop choke is to spin to the side. So if I'm in the open guard here, of course there's some counters here a little bit. But as soon as I as I, I wrap his neck, what happened is he can spin. Keep it going, keep it going, and look what happened. He's able to escape, even though I, I can do some things to avoid that. It's a possibility, right? But when I have the close guard, my legs avoid him to turn. So that's why the loop choke in the close guard is so effective. And even though I apply the loop choke in the open guard, I can look for the for the half guard or the close guard in order to avoid him to turn and then uh, force him to tap. All right. So what are you going to do? Can you go over here, please? Is this guy? So we're gonna work the same principle of like avoid him to do any kind of posture. But my grab is gonna be around here. All right. Not like uh, uh, over his shoulder. It's a bit under over here, all right? So I'm gonna get like this grip over here. I wanna get a, a, a very loose grip. Some people have a harder time to learn the, the loop choke because they try one or two times and doesn't fit, so then they, they stop. But actually you have to, to keep it practicing because then we can understand what's the, the best point to you grab like the, the color, all right? So I'm gonna grab around here over here, okay? With this, like this space between my hand and his neck. And one thing that I have to do in the, in the loop choke is to pull his hand down. And I also I have to sit up. But how am I gonna do that with my legs locked over there? So it's pretty hard to do that with my legs locked. So one thing that I can do after like I, I force him to post is to open my guard and immediately come up and slap his hand like this, okay? Another thing that I'm going to do is as I'm slapping his head down, I'm gonna lift my elbow. So it's like this. So once again, it's like this. That's the drill. So I want to throw his head in a way that I can slide my hand through and then stop with my hand outside. All right. So once again, I hear, I'm here in the close guard. I force him to post. Well, that's what I have to do. So the thing now is how I'm going to make this choke be very uncomfortable to him in a point that he will, he will have to tap is the angle of my head. So if I have his arm to this way, all right, and I throw, what happens is my arm is around his neck, right? but, but there's some space over there, especially because my hand, my grip is loose. But once I turn to the side, I'm increasing the pressure of my arm against his neck, all right? So every time that I open my legs and I throw my hand in, I need to turn my hip over here. And now I can lock my legs over there, all right? And then I'm gonna stiffen my wrist and I'm gonna stay tight over here. I'm gonna stretch my arm a little bit. And then we have the loop choke. So once again, so try to find always the best point to grab the gi. Over here would be too shallow, over there would be too high. So try to get like a point that you feel comfortable in order to make this attack very effective to your game. All right, so I force him out to post, I open. If it's hard to you come up right away, I suggest, I suggest you to walk back a little bit. And now I have a good loop choke. And once again, it's very important we, 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 we have the consistency of the choke. I cannot squeeze and think that he's gonna tap right away. It's very rare actually we, we, see, it, we see it happening. All right, so I have to, to stay tight, bring my wrist in, bring my other hand tight, and then like angle my body in the proper way in order to make him tap. So I'm gonna shoot once again from this angle over here. And now I'm gonna switch to the other side. And you can see like the function of my other arm as well. So I'm over here. So that's a good way to start to practice our loop choke, uh, especially from the close guard. 